How's it going? Today I am going to show you how to play Chingon's version of Malagueña Salerosa as it was featured in Kill Bill Volume 2 uh, by Quentin Tarantino. This song uh, was all Robert Rodriguez's brainstorm, his idea. He had this whole version in his head that uh, he wanted to put to life and uh, we are honored in Chingon to be the ones to help bring that to life for him. Uh, and so I'm going to show you how I play it, how I recorded it, uh, in case you're interested. So um, first things first, uh, I'll show you the intro melody, um, the way I play it. It's just outlining the chords of the whole song. The chords of the song basically are E minor. And it goes to A minor. to D major to B7 back to E minor and then for the change it goes to a D to a quick G G major then to a B7. Okay, so those are the basic chords outlining the whole song. So I'll break down the, uh, the intro for you. Uh, slowly, the first lick on in the intro goes like this. So you're repeating this phrase three times. You're going to do that three times, okay? So all you're doing is outlining the B major chord. You could play it by holding the chord like this. Like that. Uh, I think actually that's the way Robert plays it, Robert Rodriguez. But I prefer, I prefer to play it like on these two strings, on the two middle strings, like that. So there's not so much hand positioning switches from here to, to there to do the vibrato. Okay, but you can play it however you want. I'll just show you the notes and you can play whatever's easiest for you. But I'm just going to show you the way I play it and uh, the way I recorded it. Okay, so that's the first note outlining the B major chord. So the second chord goes to an E minor. So we just outline that with an arpeggio. Do that again. And one more time. Then from there it goes to a D. And guess what? I outline a D major arpeggio. Actually, I think I go. That's what I do. So a slow goes. Okay. And then it does a walk down chord progression where I go do this line. Okay, so one more time, that slow down goes. And then the, the acoustic goes. Okay. 
So that's the main melody. Uh, let me go ahead and play along with it on the record like we showed you so you can hear it up to speed. So uh, if you have a friend who's going to play along with you, play the electric as well, and you guys want to do the harmony, I can show you the harmony. So let's see if we have a chance to do the harmony. So same things, outlining the B major chord. So I'm jumping to this position. I'm going to be playing it on these two strings. The original was played on the inner two strings, and the um, harmony is going to be played on the second and the third strings. Okay, so the first part is this. So you can see the picking pattern and the, is relatively the same as the other uh, pattern that I showed you, the harmony, the original melody. So once again, the harmony would be... Then it goes to, like I said, to the E minor. Okay, slow down again. And then goes to the D. more time and then you do uh, the harmony to that line that descending line would be one more time So let's play along with the harmony uh, with the song. Here we go. So from there, we'll just play along with the chords I told you earlier, and I'll outline the chords somewhere around here to uh, show you which chords we're playing at which times, okay? Like I said, E minor to A, A minor to D to B7, and then the change goes D major to G major to uh, B7, okay? So we're going to play along with it on a clean tone here. until we get to the melody, the in middle, middle melody. All right, here we go. E minor. Qué bonitos ojos tienes. A minor. Debajo de esas dos cejas. Debajo de esas dos cejas. Qué bonitos ojos tienes. Ellos me quieren mirar. Back to E minor. Pero si tú no los dejas. A minor. Pero si tú no los dejas. Ni siquiera parpadear. Seven. E minor, go to the D. G. D7, back to the E minor. We're going to hold this E minor for a while. D, G, B7, 
Okay, so I'll stop it right there to show you uh, the second half of that. You saw me jump up an octave higher. Same melody, same notes as the intro, just one octave higher, okay? So instead of playing it on the inner two strings, you're gonna play here, one octave higher. Okay, so uh, if you don't know your octaves, I'll show you real quick um, the melody, basically. It's the same notes, but you're gonna, the first one's outlining the B, B7 chord. You know, it's the same thing, just an octave higher. And then you go to the E minor. One more time. Okay, then it goes to the D. then the same descending line. So you bend up to that F sharp. Okay. So that's basically the whole song. Um, the last thing I can show you is that, that build. I'm just holding an E minor chord which is a B on the G string, E on the B string, and a G on the E string. Kind of confusing. All right, could say the fourth fret, third string, fifth fret, second string, third fret, first string, all right? So I'm just holding that, and then I just go chromatically, just dragging. To the D. Okay, uh, and so lastly, the last thing I can show you um, is a real big epic scream. That it builds up to. So basically I'm, I'm climbing up to that. And then I, with the Duesenberg that I have, I only have 20, two frets, but no problem because the Duesenberg has this amazing <laughs> whammy bar, which is super smooth, I gotta say. And so when I bend, at the same time you pull up to achieve, to get to that D, that, uh, that G, I should say, the high G. So that, those are the notes. Okay, so let's uh, play along with the song until we get to that point, okay? Now here's that climb that's coming up.
So that's basically the whole song. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I want to thank Dusenberg for allowing me to play their wonderful Star Player TV Outlaw. Um, super proud to be playing Dusenberg. I want to thank Robert for uh, allowing us to have this song uh, in our repertoire. And I'd also like to thank um, Quentin for putting it in his movie, Kill Bill Volume 2. If you haven't checked it out, the end credits song of Kill Bill Volume 2 when uh, Uma starts driving away. That's us playing this song. So, um, hope you enjoy. Rock on.